Hello, my name is Katrina McKelvey. Are you at home with your family? Yeah, me too. You're sharing stories together, reading books, doing some schoolwork. You're playing with your pets. And we're doing a lot of that here too. But today I thought I'd take a break and read a story for you. One that I wrote called No Baths Week. And it's been illustrated by Sherry Hughes. And it's published by Big Sky Publishing. Now I have my dog ears on. If you have some, you can go and get them if you like. I even have my Ugg boots on. You can wear your Ugg boots too while we share the story. Let's dive in, shall we? No Barnes Week. Look at these end papers, they're messy. Mm, I think this is a messy book. Here we go. Mm. On Monday, Ben finger painted and banded paw printed their secret hideout. Found you, said Mum. Time for a bath. Hmm, I think she's fine. Look, you've got Ben. Lots of puppy prints made of paint all over him. And Bandit, the puppy dog, he has some, some hand prints on him. They are messy. It's no baths week, said Ben. Is it now, said Mum curiously. How will you get clean? Ben and Bandit scanned the backyard and spotted... The sprinkler. Have you played under a sprinkler like this before? It's lots of fun, isn't it? Look at this. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. They're having a good time. Uh-oh. Brrr, the water was super cold, complained Ben. That was a bad idea. Ooh, ooh, can you feel them being very cold? I can. On Tuesday, Ben and Bandit explored forbidden, hidden places. Where have you been? asked Mum. You both need a bath. Do you play under the house sometimes? <laughs> but it's no baths week all week, Ben reminded her. Can you see all the bugs and beetles and things on this page? Look, even a lizard. Butterfly. Hmm. Ben and Bandit gave each other a sneaky wink and then raced to the water feature in the front yard. So they've come round the, from the back to the front. And in they go. <laughs> Having a good time, look. Uh-oh. Oh, look, everybody's watching. I don't like everybody staring at us, complained Ben. That was another bad idea. Next day. On Wednesday, Ben and Bandit baked dog biscuits. Crunchy ones, bone-shaped ones, even snail-flavoured ones. Bandit devoured every last crumb. Yum! <laughs> he is. Kitchen chaos, exclaimed Mum. It must be <gasps> bath time. Look at them, they're covered in flour. <laughs> <gasps> it's still no baths week, said Ben, so he invited Paula's pooch pampering to come for a visit. Have you seen one of these before? It's a dog bath that's in the back of a van and it comes to your house. And they're inside the back of it now having a bath. Look. <laughs> pop, 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 pop. <gasps> Uh-oh. Blow, blow, blow. Ew, we've got <coughs> dog hair in our mouths and we look ridiculous, complained Ben. That was an even worse idea. On Thursday, Ben and Bandit fearlessly dug to the bottom of the sand pit. They scooped, shoveled and piled sand everywhere. Bath time, said Mum. Mum pointed to the washing machine. In you go. Was Mum serious? But it's no baths week, remember, spluttered Ben. But Mum started to giggle. She was joking. Can we have a soak in the laundry tub instead, asked Ben. Bandit willingly agreed. Yep, they're having fun, he asked. Splash, splash. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Now we're too shiny and flapping isn't any fun, moaned Ben. We need a new idea fast. So when you hand wash your clothes, you have to peg them out, don't you? That's what Mum did. <laughs> they look pretty funny on there, don't they? On Friday, Ben and Bandit made a gazillion sticky, gooey mud pies. They placed their creations one on top of another until their colossal pile touched the sky. Super stacked, said Mum, but what about this mammoth mess? 
Let's try the car wash, said Ben. Jump in the wagon, bandit. Are you ready to see their wagon? It's pretty funny. Oh, here it is. It's a toy car. But you know what's even more funny? There's no roof. They're going to get wet. Look at this. Squirt, squirt, scrub, scrub. Whoosh, whoosh. Why are they getting clean? Did you hear my dog? That's my dog barking. <laughs> Does your dog do that sometimes, bark at things? Blow, blow, blow. The car wash was a silly idea. Too noisy and we're too fluffy, groaned Ben. Oh, look at this. I'm out of ideas, Bandit, and there's still two days to go. Hmm. Oh no, what are they gonna do? That's still my dog barking. <gasps> On Saturday, Ben and Bandit collected all the dried out mud pies. They added water to make a monster mud puddle. Then Ben set up a slide to slip right in the middle. Look at this mud monster mud puddle. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Would you like to play in there? I'm sure your pet would too, your dog. I don't know about a cat. Dog would. Look at that. <laughs> you cannot escape the bath any longer, said Mum. <gasps> oh, but we're nearly at the end of no baths week, said Ben, feeling disappointed. Oh, I have an idea you haven't tried, suggested Mum. The steaming hot dishwasher. Would you want to go in the dishwasher? It's too hot. <gasps> We're doomed, said Ben, and they race to, can you see, the bath. Let's have a look. There they are. Splish, splash. Pop, 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 pop. Mm. <laughs> They're liking that, aren't they? They should have been having a bath every day. They like it so much, wouldn't they? But there's still one day to go. What's going to happen? On Sunday, Ben and Bandit helped Mum build a vegetable garden. Ben arranged dirt into rows and Mum taught Bandit to dig holes for the seeds. Are they dirty again? Dirt went everywhere, in their hair, inside their clothes and even in their ears. Guess what you need, Mum, said Ben cheekily. What does mum need? <laughs> ah, bath, replied mum. That's the best idea you've had all week. Then she grabbed the hose. Look at that. They're going to have a big water fight. <laughs> Can you see the monster mud puddle there? <laughs> that's from the day before. That's from Saturday. <gasps> and in case you're wondering, mum, next week is go to bed late week, announced Ben. <laughs> So they've had a whole week of trying to go without a bath and next week they're trying to go to bed late every day of the week. You probably could do that too, you know. Now that you're at home, you might try to get out of going to bed early every night. Hmm, I wonder what you get up to if that's what you try to do. Anyway, thanks for listening to No Baths Week. Hope you enjoy reading lots of stories together while you're home with your family and thanks for sharing mine with me.